Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Alabama, Ohio, and political machines and how they work. Um, both Alabama and Ohio had situations arise where the, the state could theoretically leave Biden off the ballot because of missed deadlines and stuff like that. And I got a message from somebody who lives in Ohio, and the basic summary was, hey, I was checking to see if we had figured out what we were going to do with Biden being on the ballot, and we still haven't done anything, but Alabama already fixed their problem, and Biden will be on the ballot there. What's taking so long? Are we slower than Alabama? No, Alabama's math is clearer. Uh, I put out a video at the time. I'll, I'll try to find it and put it down below. But for Republicans in Alabama, they don't actually benefit if Biden isn't on the ballot. It hurts them if he's not on the ballot. Um, and I know that doesn't make any sense. But down ballot, it's important for Biden to be on there for Republicans. Trump has a lot of supporters that are really just voting for him. They don't care about the other races. If Biden isn't on the ballot and Trump doesn't need their help, they may not show up to vote, which means down ballot, they may lose some votes because those people are really just showing up to vote for Trump. And further down the ballot, it, it may just be a point or two but that may be enough to swing an election, an election of the people who actually get to decide whether or not to fix this problem. So in Alabama, the Republican Party was in a position where if they did the fair thing and, and they let Biden be on the ballot and they fixed the issue, then they got Trump's opposition on the ballot. They know Trump's going to win anyway. It's Alabama. It's not going blue. Um, but with Biden there, there will be more people who show up to vote for Trump because they don't want Biden to win, which helps them in their elections down ballot. The math is really simple for them. Ohio is seen as a swing state. So it's probably a little bit more complicated up there. I've seen math run on this, and I've seen some that say it actually helps Biden if he's not on it. I have a hard time believing that. Um, Ohio and Alabama have very different dynamics. So if I was Biden, I wouldn't leave it up to chance. But at the same time, if I'm a Republican, I might be a little bit concerned about those, about the math that says leaving him off will actually energize his base. So I, I don't know what Ohio is going to do, but it, it was it was pretty apparent to me that Alabama was going to fix this. I think in the video I was actually like, I dare you to leave him off, <laughs> um, because it very well might have swung a number of races down ballot in favor of the Democratic Party if he wasn't there simply because less Republicans show up. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens in Ohio. But what happened in Alabama was, I, I would have been really surprised if they left him off the ballot because it would have hurt them. And they're the people who make the decision about whether or not he's on. Um, so. We'll just have to keep waiting and see what happens in Ohio. I, I would imagine that the Biden team is, is, is on this. I would hope so anyway. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.